We're now going to look at the Keynesian model, which develops the theory of aggregate demand. A critical assumption here is that we're assuming that the aggregate supply curve is flat, that prices do not vary in the short run. If you recall the circular flow model um, that you may have looked at in your first year macroeconomics courses, households provide the factors of production to firms. Firms then use those factors of production, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. They combine those to produce goods and services. As a result, households earn an income in that process. So that output generates an equivalent amount of income. Households then, for instance, for their labor, they'll, they'll earn wages and salaries. So that income flows back to households, which can then use it for consumption expenditure purposes and so your circular flow continues. Savings represent a leakage from your circular flow. So over here, we might have a certain amount that households do not spend, and that re represents a leakage from the circular flow.